off. Let's see. We have point A and point B. Good, right? Well, now, what if we try to connect them? What if we have a little man over here? And he wants to reach his friend over here. Well, they can't because if one jumps, they will just fall into the void. However, let's say we build a bridge. Now, what the now? There, the friend to cross, and they will be happy with one another. But what's more important is the bridge itself. Oh my goodness. The friends are getting mad that I said the bridge was more important than that. Okay. So, this bridge is more commonly called a line. Or rather, a line segment. Why? Because the name line. already taken by who well meet this guy the line the line is not finite like this brick it's infinite so this line goes on forever and ever I can't draw an infinite line these arrows are used to signify that the line goes on forever. All right. Hmm. And now, this line segment, if we take these two points, like A and B, and then we draw any point on the line between them, like for example C over here, we are dividing the line into AC and AB. Now, I can erase the dotted line, but AC and CB are still here. And this entire thing is AB. Thus, it makes sense that AC plus CB is equal to AB. So, that's a summary of slot segment. Now, let's get to our question. Right. So, number one. Point F is in between points R and T on R, or line RST. RF is 2X plus 1, ST is 3X plus 4, and RT is 35. Find RS and ST. First of all, let's sketch our line. So here is our line. Actually, we should sketch our points first. So we have R and T, and then we connect them with our bridge. And now there's a little checkpoint in the middle of the bridge, X. And it's closer to R than it is to T. Because we know RS, the distance from R to S, is smaller than ST, the distance from S to T. And we know that this entire thing is 35. We know that RS is 2x plus 1. So let's um, highlight the important things. So RS is 2x plus 1, ST is 3x plus 4. Whoa. And does this thing have sleep working this and that? No. And it's RT is 35. Those are the three important things. ST is 3x plus 4. We've already wrote down that RT is 35. So this is 3x plus 4. So RS and ST together make up the entirety of the line. But what also makes up the entire idea of the line? 35. So 
35 is equal to 2x plus 1 plus 3x plus 4. Now, we can do some basic algebra to find out how to finish this. So, 30 is 5x, and now 5x is 30, we flip. And we divide both sides by 5, which gives us x is 6. Alright, nice. So, how does that give us the answer to this problem? Well, now that we know what x is, we can plug that in to the values we know for our s and st. So, 2x plus 1 will become 2 times 6 plus 1, which is 12 plus 1, which is 13. 3x plus 4 will become... 3 times 6 plus 4, which is 18 plus 4, which is 22. So, that means that Rs is 13 and Ft is 22. Bam! That's our answer. That wasn't so hard, was it? Also, I'm just going to bring this a little closer. A little closer. There we go. So... Uh, finally, our little friends can see the outside world again. So, number two. C and D. So, let's see. We have angle ABC is equal to 6x minus 7 degrees. So, what is ABC? Well, I'm going to draw ABC using this big orange angle. You'll see why. So this is ABC. What about ABD? Well, ABD is 3x plus 3. So ABD would be this. But it would get incredibly confusing if we drew this and um, ABD the same color. So this is a, B, D, and in yellow, we have M, C, B, D. And get it? Yellow and red make orange. So, what is M, A, B, C? Well, we know that M, A, B, D, make up the entire angle. So that must be equal to M, A, B, C. Kind of included in the personal space of this third problem. So, mm, we have M, uh, let's see. Now we plug in. So A, B, if D is 3x plus 40, let's include the degree sign for now. C, B, D is 2x plus 12. find out what x is and thereby what abc uh, abc is so 3x and 2x make 5x 3 and 12 make 15 6x minus 7 5x now we subtract 15 from both sides is 6x minus 7 minus 15 and minus 22 and then we subtract 5x from both sides which gives us 0 is equal to x minus 22. So x minus 22 equals 0. We swap places yet again. So now, that means x is 22. Woohoo! So now, we know that ABC is 6x minus 7, if I'm correct. Yeah, I am. Woo! I did not ask for this. Okay, so M A B C is. Oh my goodness. Sorry. Anyway, mm -hmm. M A B C is equal to six x. So 
uh, minus 7 degrees. And now we know what x is. So 6 times 22. Quick, do it in your head. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. You're not pausing the video for extra time this time, buddy. The answer is 132. to our second problem. Our third problem has a little bit of a Swiss space. So our friends on the bridge have been kind enough to move this section a little bit further. So now, this question is actually fairly easy. As long as you keep in mind the Pythagorean, Pythagorean theory. A squared plus B squared is C squared. This could be A, this could be B, this could be B, this could be A, this doesn't really matter. But C is always the hypotenuse, the longest side. So now, what do we do here? Well, what we can do is basically ignore this side of the problem. We can take the points A, B, and D and make our own little triangle with it. Oh, and I forgot to specify, this is equilateral. So, that means that this is 6, AC is 6, and this is 6. So, since AC is 6, and D is right in the middle, bisecting, let's, okay. Uh, this is a bit of a crowded space. I'm going to make sure our diagram has stuff. So I can write on it. So we know this whole thing is six, and we know that the line BD is bisecting this triangle because you see it reaches the tippy top over here. So that means that while this is six, one of them is just going to be half or three. So this little segment over here so let's draw this again but with like a fig from c this time Okay. 
segment to work in three examples with line segment. All right. Thank you, everybody, for watching, and uh, we'll see you next time. But before we do that, before we do that, let's review a little bit, you know? Because, I mean, we don't really have, um, we don't really have a big understanding of this yet, I would assume. So, remember, a line, or like, a line segment, like bridges between points. So, uh, bridges between points. So, uh, oh. so they're like bridges between points. And any point that we place somewhere on the line, like C, for example, will divide the line into two parts. And now, that is just a tiny review. Now I have some good news and some bad news. The good news is nothing. And the bad news is that this might sadly be just a one-off series. So you might not get more of this intermediate sort of map. But anyway, thank you everybody for watching. 